Hi guys and welcome back to Toka Race Driver, the next two rounds in the Alpha GTV Cup. Where are we starting for the next round in Catalonia? We are starting in 7th position, which isn't too bad. So uh, yeah, let's get race 3 underway. So here we are then, no more races have pit stops because we did that at Vallelunga. And off we go. We're going to go on bonnet view this time because uh, yeah, it gives more sense of speed. And we can judge our braking a little bit better than we can do in-car. I never did very well at this circuit. Unfortunately. And surprisingly, these cars don't handle too bad. They are actually pretty stable when it comes to cornering. Unlike the other cars before where they would slide out or, you know, just just have a lot of understeer. These cars tend to stick to the road quite well, which is surprising. But we just have to catch up to these guys now. We're in fifth currently, so we've got four more cars to catch up to. So we get past you. Oh, and a little bit of frame skip there, unfortunately. I don't know why that part of the grass is very sticky. Usually the rest of the, the uh, circuit isn't. But certain parts of the grass acts a bit like gravel. And it's very, very unusual. Looks like you're going slow motion if you look back. Oh, and here they come. Yeah, we're in the points indeed. We're fourth of 20. However, catching up to the guys in front might be a bit of a mean feat. Saying that, and actually catch up to them slightly. Oh, I thought I was going to go wide there. Trying to judge the corners can be a bit of a pain, especially on Catalonia. Sometimes you can take the corners flat out, others you can't. And no worries, let's see if we can just actually catch up with them going through this last complex of corners. Nope. I think we lost a bit of time on that one. Oh, there we go. Sticky grass. Hello. Nice to meet you. Why don't you just come on in? Look at that. He's, he's literally pushing me, it seems like. Here comes his friend. So, I don't think we're actually going to get a podium, but fourth place is still better than nothing. We are leading the championship at the moment by, what is it, six points? So that is better than a sharp stick up the nostril. Little car, get a move on. Alright, let's just dive back in car for the remaining, what, half a lap? Quarter of a lap, whatever. Ah, 
so close yet so far. Yeah, unfortunately not a podium this time, but fourth place. I'll take it, better than nothing. Yeah, not too bad I suppose. Uh, oh well, let's see how we get on at the next race. Before that though, let's have a look at the results. So Silvio Cruz gets the win, Flory takes second, Debe or Debbie takes third, I'm in fourth, and Natalie in fifth with Gatti in sixth. And a total championship points so far, oh we're still in the lead, my god we've actually got quite a substantial lead, Debe is actually taking second place, Zusino is in third, Flory, all of them tied for tenth or tied with 10 points from 2nd down to 5th with Cruz, and then Gatti in 6th with 8 points. Awesome, okay then, back to Monza, and where are we starting on the grid? We are in 5th again, okay, better than nothing, let's get onto the grid and get race number 4 underway. Looking good Ryan, looking good, keep this up and you'll impress a jaded old manager. And Ryan McCain just looks off and thinks, yeah, whatever. And it's sunset. And off we go. No one have got their lights on, though. Which is surprising. But let's get down into turn number one. And hopefully we can squeeze up on the inside. Late break, everyone else. Oh, not quite. Oh well, up into third. This series is one of the more easier ones to do before you get into the second tier. Because all the cars are pretty much even, um, it's a lot easier to stay in the lead once you've got it, because a lot of other cars take points finishing positions, and you find that the AI cheats and cross over the uh, central reservation. As he just done there, cheating swine. Yes, he is indeed, and he will catch once we get into the latter half of this lap. Frodo. Ah, we took that a bit better this time, but they took it even more so. No, you don't. I've seen what you were doing. Yeah, I actually do quite like Monza. It's, uh, it hasn't lost any of its charms from way back in the day, and, you know, it's, it's had a few circuit modifications here and there. But it's, uh, you know... There are worse circuits out there. Mind you, I do prefer the old version of the track when it had the old Retafilio, the old left-right chicane. But that's just me. But saying that, I prefer the old Hockenheim circuit. When it was like the very long test of attrition. But oh well, as we go into the wall and get pushed sideways, and Ryan McCain has another bitch fit. And too busy looking behind me, then looking what's ahead. Get lost. Yep, and the leaders are nowhere to be seen, they have just disappeared into the wilderness. Uh, we're not going to catch up to them. So we're going to have to settle for third place if we can keep it.
Yeah, look how far the leaders are now, though. Bloody hell. The leader itself, he's actually already gone round the Parabolica. And we're like halfway down the back straight. Oh, and we're being pushed by uh, fourth place. Get out of it. Oh, well, here we come up to the final lap. 159.6 Okay, not too bad. Oh, someone's got a bit wide. Was pushed around by the person in sixth. Luckily for us, he's not in the draft, so I can just cut across and keep him behind. So the leaders have already gone through Lesmo 1 and 2. So uh, the only way we're going to catch them is if the track swallows them whole and we actually get a position, but that is not likely to happen. Yeah, I'm going to, if I can keep these guys behind. Okay, well, we're not going to get another win. That's for damn sure. You can see on the little track map, the leader has taken the start-finish line now. So they've already crossed the start finish straight and taken first and second. Uh, we're going to have to settle for third place with Doofus here pushing us across the start finish line. And there we go. So there we go then, Cruz gets another win, Debe comes in second, myself in third, then Kalini in fourth, Capriotti fifth, and Flori in sixth. Championship positions so far, 23 to 20, 16, 11, and 10, Cruz, Debe, Flori, Zucino, and Gatti respectively. I'm still leading by three points, so that is not a huge margin. But I think that we can actually take the championship with the final two rounds at Catalonia and Vallelunga. However, we'll do that next time, so I'll leave it here for now. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and I will see you next time for the final two races of the Alpha GTV Cup. Thank you very much, and take care.